हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑन नॉन कन्वेंशनल मशीनिंग टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट इलेक्ट्रॉन बीम मशीनिंग इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ईबीएम व्हाट आर द इक्विपमेंट्स यूज्ड इन ईबीएम डिफरेंट प्रोसेस पैरामीटर्स एडवांटेजेस एप्लीकेशंस विद इट्स अ डायग्राम इट इज अ नॉन ट्रेडिशनल मशीनिंग प्रोसेस इन व्हिच no physical tool is used electron beam machining is same as laser beam machining process in which except laser high speed electron beams impinges on workpiece this will generate high heat energy and melt and vaporize metal from the workpiece this whole process takes place in a vacuum chamber it is mostly used to drill holes in any shape now i will discuss some history part about the electron beam machining ebm invented in germany in 1952 by dr k h stringer wall ebm is a high energy beam machining process again electric energy is used to generate high energy electrons the mechanism of material removal is primarily by melting and rapid vaporization due to intense heating by the electrons so i have shown in the figure electron beams now here i have shown the line diagram of electron beam machining uh, you can see the different parts so i have shown that is a vacuum uh, how you can give it then filament cathode anode high vacuum chamber then focusing coil and after focusing coil we have the deflecting coil and that uh impinge on the workpiece now i will discuss about this process electron beam that is a negatively charged particle is uh, generated in an electron beam gun electron beam gun provide high velocity electrons over a very small spot size due to pattern of electrostatic field produced by the grid cup electrons are focused and made to flow in the form of converging beam through a anode the electrons are accelerated while passing through the anode by applying the high velocity at anode a magnetic deflection coil is used to make electron beam circular and to focus electron beam at a point that is localized heating then the workpiece to be machined is located under the electron beam and is kept under vacuum after that the high energy focused electron beam is made to impinge on the workpiece with a spot size of 10 to 100 micron then the kinetic energy of electrons upon striking the workpiece changes to heat and which melts and vaporizes the minute amount of the material here i have shown the diagram that is a localized heating by the focused electron beam that is first diagram then second uh, formation of the holes the melting that is vaporization of uh, front gradually progresses and the finally molten metal uh, if any at the top of the front is expelled from the cutting zone by the high vapor pressure at the lower part the whole process is carried out in the vacuum chamber and the gun is ebm is uh, used in the pulse mode holes can be drilled in thin sheets using a single pulse for thicker plate multiple pulses would be required so again in this diagram i have shown the penetration till the axillary support so you can see there how the drill is produced and how removed uh, of material happen due to the high vapor pressure now you may uh, come across the one question that is why vacuum chamber is required so the entire process occur in a vacuum chamber because a collision between an electron and air molecule causes the electrons to scatter and thus lose their energy and cutting ability so that this is the main reason reason behind this 
uh, why to use vacuum chamber now we'll discuss about the electron beam machining equipment or setup so first uh, component is electron beam gun so here i have shown the it's a figure so i will discuss about the electron beam gun so electron beam beam gun is a heart of the ebm the basic uh, functions of any electron beam gun are to generate free electron at cathode then accelerate them to a sufficiently high velocity and to focus them on a small spot size cathode is generally made up of tungsten or tantalum such cathode filaments are heated often inductively to a temperature of around 2500 degrees celsius heating leads to thermoionic emission of electrons then a combination of repelling forces from the negative cathode and the attractive forces from the positive anode causes the free electrons to be accelerated and directed towards the workpiece one of the major requirement of ebm operation of electron beam gun is maintenance of desired vacuum vacuum is achieved and maintained using a combination of rotary pump and diffusion pump so here i have shown that uh, diagram then diffusion pump is attached to the diffusion pump port of the electron beam gun diffusion pump is essentially an oil heater as oil is heated the oil vapor rushes upward the nozzle change the direction of the motion of the oil vapor and the oil vapor start moving downward at the high velocity such high velocity jets of the oil vapor enter any air molecule present within the gun this oil is evacuated by a rotary pump via the backing line now second component that is the power supply so for ebm the high vol voltage power supply is used uh, the voltage up to 150 uh, kilovolt to it is required to accelerate the electrons the most powerful electron beam machining system are capable of delivering enough power to operate guns at average power level of up to 12 kilowatt individual pulse energy can reach 120 joules per pulse then to avoid the possibility of arcing and short circuit the high voltage sections of the power supply are submerged in an insulating dielectric oil so this is about the power supply now we'll discuss some process parameters of ebm so process parameter which directly affect the machining characteristic in ebm as follows the first is the accelerating voltage the electrons get accelerated at high voltage then the beam current related to number of electrons emitted by the cathode or available in the beam beam current can be as low as 200 microampere to 1 ampere next process parameter is the pulse duration pulse duration can be as low as 15 uh, microsecond to as long as 15 millisecond and energy per force again power per force lens current spot size now this spot size is controlled by the degree of focusing achieved by the electromagnetic lenses for a lower spot size the material remover would be fast faster though the size of the holes would be smaller the next process parameter is the power density the energy density and power density is governed by the energy per pulse duration and spot size now here i have shown the some formulas which is required to calculate the mrr so if you want to calculate total pen, uh, penetration range then you can use this formula 2.6 into uh, 10 to minus 17 in bracket v square divided by rho so v means the accelerating voltage in volts then rho is the density of material then 
using the second formula you can calculate the speed of electron under control of electric field so small m is a mass of electron is a charge of electrons and e is the capital e voltage of electric field so you will get the v and from this you can easily calculate the power for beam current that is a p capital p is equal to ei and we will get in watts after that you can calculate the force of beam on molten metal then power requirement for ebm process uh, which is uh, approximately proportional to the mrr so we will get the formula that is a p is equal to c into mrr c is the specific power consumption you can take as 12 watt per cubic mm per minute for the tung tungsten metal and 7 6 and 4 for iron titanium and aluminum respectively so this is about the process parameter now we'll go for the process capability of this electron beam EBM can provide holes of diameter in the range of 100 micron to 2 mm with a depth up to 15 mm that is with a ratio of inner and outer of around 10 there would be a edge rounding at the entry point so here I have shown the diagram where you can see the typical curved shape of electron beam drilled a hole metals such as steel stainless steel titanium and uh, nickel super alloys aluminum as well as plastic ceramics leathers can be machined successfully using this ebm process the heat affected zone is uh, rather narrow due to shorter pulse duration in ebm typically the heat affected zone is around 20 to 30 micron so here i have shown the figure which uh, uh, describes the variation in the drilling speed with volume of material removal so material like aluminum and titanium alloys are more readily machined compared to the steel ebm does not apply any cutting force on the workpiece thus very simple hole holding is work holding is required holes can also be drilled at a very shallow angle of less than 20 to 30 degree now we'll see some points regarding design consideration the first point is the non-reflective workpiece surface are prepared then sharp corners are difficult to produce so deep cut produce trap tappers then we need to consider the effect of high temperature on the workpiece material then parts should match the size of the our vacuum chamber and we need to consider manufacturing the part as a number of smaller components so these points we need to consider in the design consideration now uh, through the literature review uh, i have the comparative performance about the different non-traditional machining processes so uh, here i have shown the table at uh, one side different processes i have mentioned then there uh, metal removal rates I am given then approximate unit power and then relatively capi capital e equipment cost per unit MRR so if you see the uh, our electron beam so which will give the point not not one uh, cubic centimeter per second MRR okay so by comparing with the other uh, you will get the importance of this EPM. Now we'll discuss some advantages about the EBM. So first advantage is the is extremely close tolerance can be maintained, then heat affected zone are minimum. It can machine almost any material irrespective of the their mechanical property. So here no condition about the mechanical property. The beam can be concentrated on a very small area it produces better surface finish and narrow curve and thermal distortion is less 
and the process is fast because it is entirely non mechanical now some limitations i have mentioned here so first is the uh, equipment cost is very high the interaction of the electron beam with work piece surface produces hazardous x ray then vacuum is essentially required because of very low mrr the process is economically only for small volume we can cut the skilled labor is required to isolate the electrons very high voltage is required to isolate the electrons and the process can machine only thinner parts now we will discuss the applications so electron beam machining is particularly suitable for producing very small diameter holes uh, down to point not not twin it is essentially especially adopted for micro matching major application of ebm include matching in thin materials cutting of slots and drilling of the holes with very high depth to a diameter ratio usually more than 100 as to 1 machining of wire drawing dies having small cross sectional area can be done with the help of this ebm ebm is also used as an alternative to light, light optics manufacturing method in the semiconductor industries so this is about the electron beam machining now we'll discuss the ebm characteristics so how the this material removal uh, happen the action is the melting and vaporization so this process happen in the vacuum medium then tool beam of electron moving at a high velocity is used then we can achieve 10 uh, mm cube per minute mr then power con specific power consumption is up to 450 watt per cubic mm per minute critical parameters are accelerating voltage beam diameter work speed melting temperature and this ebm is used for the all materials application then shape application drilling fine holes cutting contour in the uh, sheets cutting narrow slots uh, and some limitations that is the limitation is the very high specific energy consumption necessity of vacuum expensive machine so this is about the our today's lecture on yield from beam machining if you want to uh, hear more lectures please follow our youtube channel and subscribe our youtube channel